Hi everybody, David here from Living Tech. Thanks for joining me. If you've spent any time on YouTube, you've almost certainly seen ads for the royalty-free music service called Artlist. Here today, I'm going to tell you how Artlist best matched my needs versus the other royalty-free music services I checked out. If this is of interest to you, please stick around. If not, please check out another of our videos here, subscribe to our channel with notifications, and we'll hopefully catch you in the next one. Here's a bit of background so you'll understand my requirements, preferences, and use cases for royalty-free music and to a lesser extent sound effects. I have two YouTube channels, this one called Living Tech and the other hosted by my wife Trisha called the Chickpea Channel. On the latter we publish a new video every Friday at 5 p.m. so I'm in constant need of new music for these videos. I initially looked at six different services, Artlist, Epidemic Sound, Marmoset, Musicbed, Musicvine, and Soundstrike. These are all great services for different reasons, but I ultimately decided on Artlist because it came the closest to matching my needs. I've since developed a partnership with Artlist, allowing me to offer all new subscribers a free two-month subscription extension. Because of this association, I'm going the extra mile here to make sure this video is transparent and as objective as possible. I'm about to list my criteria, but I want to preface that by saying that a significant driver for many of my decisions is time. Like many of you, I'm busy all the time. So what I needed to do is find high quality music in a super efficient manner. This drive for efficiency is always front and center for me. So to summarize, I'm looking for a service that provides the following. High quality music and sound effects tracks. Unlimited downloads. Tracks usable in any video projects. Tracks reusable in future video projects even after I terminate my subscription. The service has to be continually adding new high quality tracks. I want a visual representation of the track volumes before I play them. This is pretty much essential for me, actually. I want an efficient selection process, hopefully less than five minutes per track. I want it to be responsive, less than one second from playing one track to the next is ideal. I want a cost-effective service, maximum US 300 a year, and I need zero effort license management. Artlist provides all of these in spades. I'll run you through a few examples where I screen recorded my selection process inserted the music into videos I later published, and show you how several of these clips turned out. Some of the more egregious examples of the above criteria not being met with other services were, in one case, going from playing one track to playing the next took four clicks and 12 seconds. That's way too much for me. Another service sells by the track. I liked one track, it was 49 US dollars. Keep in mind that I'll end up using about 75 tracks per year. So for me, the cost would be $3,675, assuming one track per published video. I definitely don't have that kind of budget for music. And compare this with the cost of an entire subscription, in Artlist case, unlimited downloads for US $299 per year. Now we'll show you the selection process by way of some screen recordings I actually did. Using a browser, navigate to artlist.io, sign in. In this case, I was doing a food video of a meatloaf. I wanted something light and playful. I selected holiday genre, ambient, cinematic, in terms of instruments, no vocals and not ethnic. Uh, so you can select these things as you go. It presented me with a, a page worth of tunes. You just hit the play button. Each one plays almost instantly. Significant to me is that you only hit one button. You don't have to stop the previous tune and start the next one. You just hit play for the next tune. And what you saw me doing up on the top right just now was uh, selecting a tempo. Some of them were too fast or too slow, so I just thought I'll specify medium to filter out all those ones I don't want. In terms of the, the selection of music, sometimes I'll skip over a tune 
because I'll see that there's, from the graph that's shown on the right, that there's too much of a crescendo into it. So it takes a few measures to get going. And sometimes I only have maybe eight or 10 seconds of B-roll that I want to have the music start under. So I don't want it to take too long to get going. So that's what I meant earlier when I said that I like to have that graph. It's almost essential for me. So in this case, I went through 16 tunes and finally got to this one you see here, Grow Up Cut. And that's the one I select. To retrieve this file, you click the down arrow, click the shopping cart, check out. You get a message saying that the WAV file, MP3, and license links are right in your email box. Now I'll show you where I use this clip as well as some of the other great music from Artlist. We're standing outside the home of Henry the Beagle. Here he comes! I hope this video offered you a useful glimpse into using the Artlist royalty-free music service. The reason that I didn't go into detail with respect to which services had which drawbacks is that once I realized the service wasn't for me, I basically booted it off my list. In other words, I didn't explore all of the benefits of each service. Again, they're all well-respected services, but I just have my own set of preferences and use cases. Anyway. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, please click like, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications icon to see more videos like it. Thanks again.